Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. We got another 7 days to die video for you guys today, of course. And now, I've also made this sort of video for all the other alpha builds that they've had. Uh, sort of tips and tricks, how to help you with your game, especially if you're just getting started early on. Best ways to get loot the easiest way as possible. Now, of course, we've already been through every single skyscraper, every single Alpha 16 building. Um, so we, there's little secrets here and there, but Alpha 15 was packed with secrets and I've done a ton of stuff on that. So if you wanna know all those, there's a video for that, which I will link here. But this is one that's going to be specifically for Alpha 16. So of course, there's a lot of other things you can do um, to help out your game, but these are going to pertain particularly to these specific buildings and areas. Now, these are very much, uh, not cheats, but just different ways to go about things. If you want to go the way that the developers have intended, or if you would like to see these buildings in their entirety, I have gone through all of those. There's long, much longer episodes, but this is just going to be for the people who want to sort of smash and grab, get in, get out early in their game, get the best loot, and move on. Okay, so I can't control the weather. It started raining. But my next uh, spot that you're going to want to stop at, especially if you're an early player, this one is great. Um, it's got a lot of loot in it, especially on the bottom floor. But, like I said, this is for the person who is just starting out, who doesn't want to deal with all these zombies. Now, I want to warn you, there may be some on the roof of this one. But, since they can't get up on this ladder, you always could come back down, run away, Wait for them to come down and come back up and remove the blocks, and then they can't get back up here. So let's see if there is one. Let's see if one spawns in late. They've been spawning in late. Alright, so you can already hear them breaking things down there and falling. Now, if you haven't seen my other video, make sure you go check out my other pawn shop video because you'll see that there's actually like a false ceiling that they fall down from. And what you want to do is just kind of run around, hit the ceiling. You want to wake them up. You want to get them to fall down. If you hear one and it sounds close, you want to get it to fall down. Okay, so you see this corner? You want to kind of knock out this corner. This is the front of the shop here. And it'll be this corner right here. And let's see. I hope that I... I hope that I got everybody that is. So. Whether you even just have one to deal with, it's so much better than dealing with all the rest of them. See, look at this. An assault rifle. You can get an assault rifle just by, look at, oh my gosh. Look at all this stuff. The hidden stash is amazing. Gun safe, if you don't have the tools for the gun safe, you can skip that even. But see, and then if it gets too heavy, cause they're acting crazy, you just do this and then you're out. And then you got armor, a gun, usually the secret stash boxes are the ones that you want to go after. And I know that they're being super loud, so I can't really tell how loud I'm talking right now. But that, I love doing that early on. Like, if you find a pawn shop, I know a lot of people probably don't touch them. Don't be fooled by the false ladder there. Um, I know you guys probably don't touch them because there's a whole lot of nasty things in there. But, I mean, I, they can go to town. I don't care. I got what I needed. And like I said, this might not be everybody's thing. Like, you you probably, you know, if you, if you want to play through the right way, then, then more power to you. And we have. We've gone through all that. But these are just little things I've picked up uh, since I've done all those videos on Alpha 16. See that extra little uh, thing up there? You want to start on this side. Because that's where we're going. And this is, this is old hat stuff. This is literally like, you just do this. <laughs> Just like the construction zone. And, and you guys like, you know, a uh, hundred wood frames is not that much wood. It doesn't take long at all to get these. Just, you know, always make sure you have extra wood in case, um, fall or, or 
whatever. So, now on this skyscraper is awesome because you can put a block right there like that. Make yourself some stairs. There are boxes here and the zombies are usually not spawning over on that helicopter pad there. So, you can come here, get these. And there is one underneath it. Don't miss that one. Even though these are empty, for whatever reason. Yeah, bad luck of the draw. But, if you're feeling brave, and you can sneak down here, which there's usually not zombies over here, usually, I say usually, you can sneak here, there's more right here, and there's that hidden stash box that is so awesome that we need. Look how much that's worth. A military, that's, that's really cool. Actually, I like that. Two more. Look at that. Silver nuggets. Thousand, thousand coins right there. Imagine your first day. And you get that. Oh, let's see. Mother hidden stash. Gold. Silver nuggets. Gold nuggets. Another AK-47. This is so awesome. So you de you guys definitely want to go do this your first day. And, and then you hop back up here. And you walk back over here. And you go back down. No dealing with any of that other crap. First day, you're rich, you got guns, you got armor, gold, silver, you ready to go to the trader? It's awesome. So, I'm gonna start with the construction site because I feel like um, it does have some good loot hidden in the middle, but let's say you're a new spawn and you just come across this, what's the best way to get the good loot. Now this is one of the easiest ways. You can literally just chop down some trees so once you have your axe and uh, frames is really all you're gonna need. And now of course you wanna go probably you wanna line up with the, the topmost part and you wanna just put these frames down like this and basically hop your way to the top and I will show you what to do when we get there. Now you want to place yourself um, a little higher so that you can see everything because in sometimes there's a zombie that spawns up here that you'll see and you if you have a bow you can shoot her from here or you can make some noise wake her up and she'll actually just kind of walk off and fall so you don't even have to deal with her which is nice now there is that one explosive there you're gonna want to make sure be mindful of that you don't go onto it but do you want to Kinda swing yourself around till you place that one. And then you'll be able to place these ones. And then you can walk across. See how he came up there? So you wanna remove the blocks so that he can't get to you. And let's see, did he fall down? I think he finally did fall down. Yep, see, he's down there. So you want to put the block back? And then now you're free <laughs> to just take these. And then go over here, pick up your wood frames, and you won't have to deal with them. Accidentally dropped one. Now you just get out of there. Now you can see from here There is a loot area in there, but the the floor falls through, and you have to deal with several zombies. So like I said, this is for early on if you don't want to deal with anything. And now this guy falls within the fence, even though he's feral, and you can just be gone. I really appreciate you guys checking out these videos. If they've helped you out, make sure you subscribe because I do ones like this all the time. It's my favorite game. I absolutely love it. Hope you guys enjoy these videos. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.